Hi, uh, good afternoon, good evening. Well, it's six o'clock on a Sunday, and this is the Pattaya beachfront. Looks like there's gonna be a music festival coming soon, and I just want to show you how the beach looks like. leaving for Bangkok right after this so I'm gonna miss the music festival oh man it looks like it's gonna be epic This rivals some of the best beaches I've been to. And honestly, what I like about this beach, I was trying to figure out, right? So, how come I feel comfortable with this beach? And I like it. In fact, yesterday I had my dinner by the beach and I was just chilling out until they had to literally kick me out. Right, they say, oh, I need that bench. <laughs> I say, yeah, okay, okay. Come back tomorrow. I say, yeah, I'll try, you know. And I was trying to figure out why, because there are not many beaches that I like to just chill out. You know, there are, there are some, but here in particular, <clears throat> I feel at East, and it was weird because, number one, like, there's no bars, there's no, like, happening things on the beach, there's no, like, super bars, like, with girls in bikinis and everybody's like doing the Ibiza thing or whatever like that whatever that they do in Ibiza you know and it came down to a few things one it's clean right look at that it's clean it's long and it's beautiful second thing is there are no beachside bars now I like those beachside bars like for example in Bali or in Phuket or whatever like that right they're cool but you know, they kind of spoil the whole atmosphere of the beach the ocean so here as you can see there are no bars by the beach the bars are all across the road so whatever noise that they make and they don't make that much noise uh, doesn't filter through that much and you actually get to relax here and if you want to like you know get some beats going on you know I'm saying you know you can just cross the road uh, the next thing is at night the beach is lit so it's not like lit directly but they have these lights that just gives give enough illumination on the beach so even in the evenings it's not completely dark and there are still people hanging out by the beach and I really like that you know yeah um, the other the next thing is you can see the beach right I saw a sign earlier and maybe that's the reason the sign says no selling on the beach so for example in Bali or in other places every 30 seconds and a minute, someone will come and try to sell you something. Do you want massage? Do you want Mendy tattoo? Do you want to buy this, buy that? And you know, I know everyone's making a living, right? But sometimes you just want to chill. You just want to sit there with no one hassling you. And this is what you can get. And this is what you get in Pattaya. It's, it's a pretty new experience because I love the beaches in Bali, right? It's freaking amazing and beautiful right but once you sit down you know you can't really sit down and chill uh, because there'll be people coming up to you right and what's next yeah and the thing is I guess the last thing maybe not last is that I know I'm chilling here it's quiet and 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 you know you can just relax and all this kind of stuff even into into the night 
and then if I want some action if I want some for example drinks or whatever like uh, in a bar or whatever like that I'll just cross the street and boom look at that These are all the bars. There's Burger King, Family Mart. Family Mart always rocks. And these are all the bars, right? With the ladies, of course, that will, you know, sit down with you and while you have a drink. So it's about choices. And you can, you can have a place that's like a guest house and you know, and still be near to the beach and able to assess the beach and good food and all that. Or you can stay in a place like Hilton. All right? Pew pew. It's up to you. And I think that's that's that defines Pattaya and and Thailand, Bangkok, and Thailand has a whole maybe. I have to think more about this. Is that number one, you have choices. Whatever you want to do, you know, whoever you want to be, as long as you're not messing around with others, you are not, not causing harm and disturbance to others, it's fine. You know, you have choices and you can do it. And related to that is, it's non-judgmental, right? People here, I mean, me, it's a culture perhaps, it's more about fixing themselves to be better people than trying to fix other people, right? And telling them, oh, you should not do this, you should not do that, and all this kind of stuff. Which brings to mind the other day in Bangkok, uh, well, about three weeks ago, I was having this conversation with an American girl, and she mentioned about, you know, the challenges in, you know, uh, we must fight for trans rights in the US, you know, uh, 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 they're not integrated, they're invisible, you know, and, you know, blah, 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 and, and, and we must, you know, support them, which I totally agree, right? But then I say, hey, you know what? If you want a case study, a real life case study of integration, non judgment, LGBT living side by side with totally no issues, okay? just come to Thailand all right and figure it out what are they doing right because here you can be gay you can be whatever that you want to be and people respect you people give you your space and similarly you know uh, they don't impose anything on you and you don't impose anything on them and that's the thing right in most parts of the world other is because of political beliefs, religious beliefs, or cultural be beliefs, or whatever like that, right? We are always taught to judge. We are taught to judge, and then we're taught that we should tell others who are different from us that they should live and do the things we do. They should live the way we do and do the things we do, right? Okay? And if they don't, it's an offense. We're insulted. Okay, and fuck you, you know? You know, go back to your country. You know, and and that's I think that's that's sad. Because it's not about controlling what other people do and how they live their lives. It's about how we live ours in alignment with all the stuff that's around us right we can't control what's happening outside situations and other people and we never and we shouldn't we can nudge them maybe but we shouldn't like say that you must be like this so that i can be happy and i can be like confident or whatever like that and if you don't okay you're insulting me, you're offending me, and you should get out of my face. There's something really wrong in that. And I think maybe a lot of us don't see that because we're driven by our fears, right? And I think a fear is this. I'm afraid of someone or I'm, who is gay because to me, 
is not good, okay, or even disgusting, but, and I'm not gay, but I'm afraid, I'm angry at them because what if I'm gay? What if I become gay? What if my son become gay, right? So it's that fear that the judgment that we throw so callously onto others will bounce back on us, right? So that's why we judge, I guess, you know? <laughs> so anyway, suddenly this, this, this became so deep, right? But, but, I, but honestly, that's it. Whatever we believe, we believe. I choose to be this, and you can choose to be you. And I would like you to accept me because of my beliefs, as long as I cause no harm and hurt to others, you know? <coughs> and therefore, I will accept you too, you know? You like fish, I like chicken. Come on! You're vegan. I like bakute. Come on! We can be friends, you know? You like Donald Trump, you like Joe Biden, you like whatever, you know, we can, we can still be friends, alright? And just not judge each other, but share, because uh, there's this line, right, that, you know, authority, we have taken authority as the truth, which is the biggest lie there is, one of the biggest lies because the only authority is the truth. Authority is not the truth, okay? Truth is the authority. And therefore, we should work, work towards the truth. And the only way we can do that is we listen to each other, right? We listen, no judgment, you know? And be kind, you know? Look at that, look at that. Ah, damn son. Okay, so I don't know. I know I'm heading in the right direction. I don't know how far I am, but I'm just enjoying this walk, man. Pattaya, thank you so much. This is a good place. And it's going to be an interesting week. Uh, a week in Bangkok, four days <clears throat> on work and play. You know, the first ever tribe perfumes summit will be held in Bangkok okay <laughs> with just three people you know so okay and after that uh, it'll be my first attempt driving into Cambodia so I'm really looking forward to that I miss Siem Reap I miss Cambodia I don't miss Phnom Penh that much honestly speaking the vibe doesn't get along with me but it's okay it gets along with a lot of other people uh, but I miss Siem Reap. <laughs> alright man, there's some picnic happening by the beach. So, alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. I'm just going to continue walking. This is War Baby out from Pattaya Beach, Thailand. Sawadee <laughs> kha.